I'm gonna pick here for their mid hero, but it's gonna be an RTZ hero. It's gonna be a profit. So London Conspiracy's early team fighting is pretty strong. I feel like their laning is fairly good, especially whoever plays mid needs probably defensive hero. I think a Quap would be good here, maybe. They're well. Who the hell is gonna carry this game? Is the problem. They need somebody that can evade ganks preferably because it's gonna be sniper ES nature's profit ganking. What about Storm Spirit? Storm Spirit, I I mean that's not a hero that Arteezy plays, but we could see Arteezy play. Yeah, Scorch could take it maybe. over and go mid, and they can yeah. get to a safe lane scent. He doesn't play any of that. Arteezy Five usually it's like remaining. Shadow Fiend, Lycanthrope, and when they don't, he doesn't have those things get a bit bit yeah. silly. I just feel like I've even seen Paul at a Razor recently, and it's like you do. Yeah, yeah. It's not TI4 anymore, right? Yeah, but I mean it still kind of covers that, and that they really needed hard carry, and they grabbed a Phantom Assassin who's. Also a very evasive mid hero to go K against Earthshaker because Earthshaker, if he fissure blocks you, sometimes you can blink to your creeps, and uh, it's pretty good against Nature's Prophet as well. If he sprouts you in, you really don't care because most of the time you have a Quelling Blade, and yeah. you can also just blink on top of the NP and maybe kill him. Yeah. So I think this is a really good pick here. Mm -hmm. They don't have to put it mid, but I think it would be fine to do that because it's evasive enough against the heroes that London's dealing with. And then you can put the centaur in the safe lane, get him a fast blink dagger, and then start moving around the map, taking lots of early advantage, taking towers, and then from there, RTZ should be able to kick in. I or, think PA was a perfect pick here. Or it's a support centaur, and we're going to see S4 Bane Core coming up right now. I'm feeling it! Nah, they're probably just waiting a bit, and we will get to see Kuro pick up this Bane. Could have been another hero that Zai steps in. He used to play a lot of Bane yeah. back in the olden days. But so what do you think they're picking the Bane for? I feel like it's maybe level 1 and feeble to reduce Sniper's farm or something, let PA get some advantage. Yeah, I and think then he's going to be a bully to Sniper I, early on. I assume so, because I just don't see where the synergy is. I guess you can sleep into Chen disables or something, but I, I am just not sure here. Got a Nexon Courier here. A little bit of a Which one? Is that the tiger, shiny thing. Tiger? I always see some... Like, yesterday, I think I saw, like, a pig dressed up like an emperor. And I'm like, guys, we've gone too far. I don't know if I've seen that one. It's a pig there's, emperor. There's a lot of weird... I, you know, the skateboarding bird, a hockey playing That's bear. A, isn't that the MVP Phoenix one? I think yeah, they had a skateboarding. Know. It looked pretty cool, but, I mean, it is a skateboard. It's ruining my immersion purge. You know what's ruining what's my immersion? Doing? This Arteezy weapon. What the heck is this? Let me see. What's Genuine this? Hell's Usher. Oh, that's is it like, like one a, of their newest items. Is it like a diffusal? That's like the most fabulous dagger I've ever seen in my life. looks Sword. They do have a lot of items based on items in the game. You see a lot of the like the desolated yeah, mock still sells items, well. Lincoln's, or anything like that. So Dire Team was already very rapidly in the Radiant Jungle, and they placed a lot of wards. I, did Prophet TP for this? He did. Yeah. So he TP'd for this right at the start. He blocked the large camp. He also placed sentries to block the medium camp, as well as the second large camp. And Puppy's probably going to expect this, and he's going to start dewarding for it. Um, the fact that they haven't seen any heroes yet kind of surprises them, so maybe yeah. they're not expecting a block. I think that he's going to lose the first couple of spawns, saying like, oh, we didn't see them, so they probably didn't do it. He may be, he may, but uh, Puppy's really good at dewarding the jungle, since he does get blocked a lot in the jungle. Yeah, no surprise. A little bit of a shrapnel. It's it's so difficult to, to take bounty runes against a sniper, because the, the giant slow, the 15% slow, and three charges is just amazing. But Right at the start, yeah. If you can force those out, it's kind of good, because then sniper is really limited the next couple minutes but but if he does get it and like in pub games you see pretty often people just really underestimate shrapnel and what it does and you know comparison to what it used to be mm -hmm. and then you he walks back to lane with a with a one kill advantage and a first blood and then things get out of control quick and well he'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arteezy who's you know probably got a lot of experience having to go against sniper nowadays on his PA matchup just an overall matchup we don't see very often the PA and the sniper and it doesn't look like at least for now the Bane is coming by to harass he's being the offlane zoner like I was saying before just at least for now so for yeah. PA versus sniper wow. is he just gonna have a hard time with CS and just gonna look to he got, on, he got a nil talisman by the way on the Bane on the Bane nice no this Congrats, is bro. it's an item that is usually only purchased by core heroes but one really good thing about Bane is starting stats are really high. The only a bit of a mistake here pulling the range creep, but basically he hits really hard right now. He's hitting oh, yeah. for 67 on average, which is not something you can trade with. His base armor is also four, which isn't that bad. He's actually a really good right click here, and his base movement speed yeah. is 315. So it, the base of the hero is really really strong. But his only weakness is his attack range is 400 instead of the typical yeah. like five or six hundred so but it's it's a pretty good level one here it's not amazing at zoning but it's really good because of oh that's a career Whoa, snipe very nice snipe coming out from spartan did he predict that or was he just he there? has this ward over nearby RTZ did, spots it take the him. did it take the low ground and maybe they saw it he's really RTZ low hp he needs to tango through oh, nice, this is smart nice. really good juking but 
I don't know. RT is going to spot him again. He's going to chase him. How long is he going to chase him and be away from mid lane for He's this? He's got 27 seconds to ah, survive, got him. basically, and that's it. That's going to be a kill now, I think, because there's no there's no way he can get away from this. The space. There's the almost space. out of mana. Oh, 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 the fissure. Never mind. Sorry. That's it. He's suicide. He too. actually didn't need to do that. But, oh, I'm sorry. This is a Chen creep. Yeah. The Chen would have been able to yes. maybe do damage. Didn't so. buy anything before he died, but hey, he doesn't. He didn't hand lose over gold. Actually, it doesn't look like. Well, he had 300 something when he did. Go yeah, he had out. about 360. I thought I didn't, I didn't see him lose that much gold. I, I thought he would have lost yeah. more than that. It's because early on he's only level one without even a shred of XP yet. But yeah, yeah. hey, he's already sure. put in the early work. Got some of the nice the nice wards down that have been blocking the camp's puppy. Hasn't been able to deward them. Man. Wow, just short over here on this camp. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh wow. So he has not a good jungle to work with, and they have their hands full with his nature's prophet. Nature's prophet gets the courier. Man, he has already been. Yep. Doing some good work early on, even though he doesn't have any XP. This is a nice early boost here for LC, and a bit crippling for PA in the mid lane, not having that bottle to work with, because she has only a salve right now, and she just uses a little bit of her last bits of mana to get a dagger kill there. Well, uh, there's kind of they're zoning the Phoenix really well. That's one thing they have going for them. And Zai's also got a stupid amount of levels. He's at level four now, almost finishing his bottle. So. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice thing because of this nature's profit moving around this top lane. They don't really have a way to deal with the bat from doing what he wants here. And I've seen already yesterday, actually both games, Zai just finds farm, man. He had a gyrocopter ags of refresher game, the first of its kind in really? a pro game. Yep, he just farmed all day in the top lane while there was clown all around the rest Is that of the off map. Lane? He just took the safe, he was in the off lane and just took over the lane. He got one tower and just no one cared about Zai on Gyro. There, it was, it was, Purge, huh. it was a shit show. I mean, you I just got to see the VOD. It was you know, ridiculous. You know, Eggs Gyro is, is pretty terrible, but if you get a refresher, it doesn't sound bad. Because you're was he doubling got the, the eggs damage. really quick. Okay. And so the call down became level two and did so much damage, but hold on. Might Bottom see a dead lane. Phoenix. Yeah, Here comes the Sense Sun, and yeah, that's a guaranteed kill. Nicely executed, and that's the good thing that Nightmare does here. It guarantees our stun from Centaur, and then you can follow it up with Chen Creeps. Yep. Easy chain stun. Man, right I just there. want to talk about Eggs, Refresher, Gyro all day. That is just... It's really Sounds silly, interesting. but because of the timing where he got it and how much farm he got, it was yeah. just perfect. But then the game after that, he played a Bat Rider. He got so much farm there. He did the Bone 7, went right for Boots of Travel, managed to put together even a Mask of Madness. He might die here, though. We'll All see. Right. Uh, it's only a level on Nature's Prophet, JK. If we get a power shot, he oh, will die, but can he on, land a power it? shot? Nice. Side that step. was really off, but I don't think he saw him there. He went into darkness and uh, started juking, so good escape there by Zai. And that's going to waste more. Of, like, has Prophet done anything this game? Ooh, he almost TP'd. Oh, wait, they're, they're trying safe. to backstab. He's faking. From behind. Keeps faking. Keeps faking. This guy needs to get farm. Like, do a pull or something. What is he accomplishing? I don't know. He's going crazy right now. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah, he's got eyes on the map for sure, though. Meanwhile, it's going to be the... Earthshaker spots the, the room, bat. And, yeah, they see him. There's a He rotation. could die. Here comes the oh, assassinate. assassinate. Boom! They get the kill. Zai goes okay. down. And it looks like LC good. get themselves on the board. Still no level 3 for Profit, though. He can't jungle just yet. But he can make the next pull. He needs to hit level 3 so he can start being self-sufficient, but Elsie's doing really well here. Um, the safe lane is being won by by Secret, but but Elsie's doing really well in the mid and the safe lane now. Their supports are a little under-leveled, though, and there's really not a lot of CS in this game, actually. If you look at the CS counters, it's 5 minutes. Only 3 heroes are above 15 CS. That's a really low. A lot of movement. A lot of zoning in this game. Not really uh, paying attention and trying to go for some CS. Even Zai doesn't bother going back to the top lane. Makes a trip through the mid lane first. Maybe he was doing a bit of a bottle trade right there with Arteezy or something. But gets a few pokes in and starts heading towards the other side. He has a, a stack camp. It does have some mud golems. But he is working in the LC jungle right now. Yeah. Up farm. He, and he has to do that because he knows that his jungle is blocked. And even if it's not, they've got a Chen. And exactly. that's one of the problems with picking both a Chen and a Batrider is that your jungle is a bit limited, but look at that. He's level six, and it's six minutes in, so he's going to be completely fine here, and he's going to pick up a range as well. Kuroki. Boom! Shot in his eyeless face as the bane, and they converge towards the six-minute rune. And Kuroki just wanted to be there to grab it, but he ends up going down. Oh, he might be able to snipe the courier. No, it's, it's going to take so many hits. If you don't, if you're not like a level six hero, or you have something special like bounty crit, it's just so tough. And that's Blink now on S4, the centaur. He doesn't have a whole lot of regen, but he doesn't need it. Oh, man. Six-minute blink dagger. Definitely kill the Phoenix with a brain sap and a scent as the dead hero. They're going to find Earthshaker, though. He's His haste, haste is almost gone. 
Oh god. Oh god. Where do I go? Oh That's god. Yep. Run Hello, into everyone. danger. Doesn't even have Centaur to stun. One. Just... Centaur two. Damn. All right, three to two now. And Secret. Blessed with a freebie on that front. That was a super freebie too. That didn't cost Centaur anything. No mana. He can still gank. He doesn't have to go back after that. Well, they did just pop some tangos. Dagger. I would hope they communicate yeah. that. Hey, S four's got a blink dagger. Everyone, high alert. Please be on high alert. Keep tabs, but he's heading towards top lane. And do they have vision? They don't have any vision at the top of this river. They might not see S4 coming. Prophet actually ganking on the bot lane, trying to get a kill on Kuroki here. But he does get nightmared right away. Bit more diving, but actually a lot of damage on Phoenix. Couple more right clicks. Test of faith, and that's going to clean up the Phoenix. Big kill on the bot lane. In the meantime, they're ganking on top lane as well. Lasso on top of Wind Ranger and S4 initiating. They don't do enough damage, actually. They stop right clicking. Oh. That's going to be S4 falling almost for sure here. Assassinate, maybe he's going to save it for the next here. It's going to be Batrider or Shaker looking to Fissure. He's going to drop the Fissure. Will we see the Assassinator or is Body he? Oh, blocks. great blocking. No Firefly for eight seconds or so, and the body blocking nice. is going to be enough. No Shackle Latch, but here comes the damage. And what a play from LC. They lose a kill on the bot lane, but picking up the bat as well as the scent was a really big kill there. Yep. And that's just Windrunner being a little too evasive. And Sniper's getting involved in those kills too. He's 3-0 yeah. oh now on this Sniper. Already has his phase boots, uh, one early Wraith Band, and his Aquila, and about 1,500 gold already thrown together. It's a scary here to get a lot of farm mid lane. They're going to make the jump onto the bird, and there they finally have S4 use that blink dagger appropriately, and they get their dunk. Arteezy says, give me my lane. bottle back, jerk. <laughs> That's where it's like, like I just uh, drink it all yeah. down. He put it on him as he TP back, and he's actually going to get the bounty rune here. Uh, so we're going to have Arteezy without you, it. My good friend. <laughs> yeah, what a nice guy, Artur, man. He's actually keeping it. You'll find more use out of it, I suppose, with this blink dagger. I, I mean, Arteezy's HP is full. He doesn't Maybe he's really... trying to fake out by the ward. He, like, kind of went up and then blinked back, but there's another ward that's on the other side, so they know where S4 is. Still hanging out by mid. All right, he so. gave it back. What a nice guy. Yeah, guys, come on. I hope no one has mono here at this point, the way they're sharing these bottles I'm around. kidding. So. <laughs> hope they're fine. Sniper in a very defensive position, seeing that centaur kind of dancing behind the mid lane. He now has his morbid mask. So Stun on the bot lane. Croaky's in trouble. Oh boy, they're making the go. He's so Spartan dead. Spartan cuts him off inside the side shop, and your Bane be will dreaming. be toasted. Yeah, yeah, that, Phoenix will get the kill. The, 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 the good animation that Bane has is pretty much just completely screwed over by the, the minus attack speed that Phoenix throws out. Makes the hero a lot worse, because Brain Sap is a good ability. He's got six at least. That's a good benefit. S4 looking to catch somebody, but... He's all smoked up. He's thinking about it. He's going to he go for it, actually. He's going for the kill. Great fissure just in time from him, but wow. there's a the stampede. Will they catch him? I think the centaur will be able to get this. He gets a little bit of a speed burst out of this. They pick him off. <laughs> and uh, a good reaction from the Earthshaker, but yeah. it wasn't quite fast enough. That was the dream fissure setup as well. As far to turn the corner, but Puppy was nearby, and he gets the kill with the shockwave with the help of his satyr buddy. And he actually already got a gem on his chin. I guess he, just, he had enough with this jungle crap. Yeah, no Blocking kidding. my camps, I can't see it. I'm just going to get a gem. Screw that is you. that is one of the Radiant fastest gems I've attack. ever seen on a... He doesn't have arcane boots. He doesn't uh -oh. have a mech. Mid lane, they get an easy grab with the help of Zai coming in from yeah. the north. The lasso set up after RTZ jumps in and quickly secret take this game back and move ahead 7-5. to five. That's a PA pick showing off how good it is against... What we need, what they need to do is counter sniper. Make sure that they can shut that hero down. Don't let him get a ton of kills. Don't let him keep space on you. PA is perfect for that. And, and it's really nice that PA can be maybe not the strongest carry, but situationally be be a useful pick. And it's definitely paying off here. Evasive and hard to gank mid with high armor and evasion. And then very easy to dive on people that have weak disables like slows or trees. You know, tree disables. I'm a bit nervous because, you know, for LC and their what they do have and like you said they don't have a whole lot tree disables you know, so be it but their comeback factor i mean you're gonna have more and more come together here for secret zai will be able to get a blink dagger i'm sure in the near future you know, we see s4 with his what do they do on the side of lc to kind of bring this game back is it phoenix having a hold of his supernova making it work a blink dagger and earth is going to take quite a while nature's prophet i mean it's been a while since i've seen a nature's prophet i don't even know what kind of a build he's going to freaking do Probably an orchid, I guess, with this early sage's mm, mask. But no, we've seen medallion, I we, think. I mean, we've seen medallion builds. We've seen null builds, blade mail builds, Midas, Dagon. I don't really know what this nature's prophet wants to be, and we'll have to see what he wants to really bring to the game. Because mid game, it's gonna get pretty crazy, especially from the side of secret. So I don't know what LC want to do to kind of 
bring it back if they're going to be at an early game disadvantage. Or they're doing a smoke initiation. We even have a little bit of a speed creep coming from the Cobalt End. They're going to be going in. There's the ulti as well. Another ult coming from Bane, and that secures a sniper kill. Fissure's going to block off our TZ, but he doesn't have a blink for seven seconds. It's actually kind of dangerous for him. They can get an initiation. Trees. No trees. They're fine. Our TZ's Prophet's walk not away. six yet, so it's not really helping a huge amount at the moment. Oh, they get Might die. get a kill. Yeah, top lane. They had the latch beautifully connected right there. Dara on the Wind Ranger sets that one up, and with the assistance from Nature's Prophet, they take down the Bat Riders. So, huh. nice little return kill there, but they have been losing a lot. Sniper went down back to back times in that mid lane. After what was a nice start, he was 3 0, now he's 3 2. It's really not a lot of times that you see his eye go negative in their early game. Usually he just dominates, but he's actually having a rough game for once. His farm is still amazing. Yep. He's at 1,400 gold. I guess his blink is. It's not amazing. All right, his blink is late. Usually you can get a blink by. Nine minutes if you're doing really well in Bat Rider. So his, his items are definitely late, but he also does have Tranquils and a bottle. So yeah. He's been helping setting up kills, but sometimes True. he's had to be the sacrifice for them so he doesn't get involved in the yeah. piece of the gold and the piece of the XP. And they and, did miss that one yeah. kill when they attempted on the Windrunner using the Centaur. So they haven't been perfectly successful. Well, they're going to have to make do. And I'm curious to see... Arteezy and Phantom Assassin, it's been quite a while, so we're dusting off our PA Arteezy knowledge here, but going from here, uh, he already has the Bassy, so is he going to go for mm. like a Drums, the lead in, the I'm, Quill Normally lead he off? goes Treads, so I'm already surprised to see the phase, so he'll probably have to compensate by buying some HP items, because mm -hmm. right now his HP is really low, and there's decent magic nukes on LC, so Drums is possible, he may just BKB rush as well. I, I am not entirely sure, but if he gets a BKB, he should be able to clean up a hero like Earthshaker by himself. Looks like we might see a bit of a trade of towers. Pressure on top lane, tier 1 with uh, S4 and Kuro, but mid lane, they are bringing out the Treants and everything. Madara moves forward with their focus fire, and they should be able to grab it. Glyph's going to stall it out a little bit. Puppy continues to farm up nearby in the jungle with that gem. He's trying to get a mechanism next and online. This is level 8, and of course Hand of God will always be at the ready to help out, but they end up trading yeah. tier 1 for tier 1. So while the gold is equal there, the mid towers are much stronger in terms of team fight positioning than is your safe lane tower. So that wasn't good for secret, but on the bright side they were farming in the meantime. Now there is a medallion on the profit now, so this means that the Roche is going to die really fast, especially with Sniper having a Mask of Madness. And they saw that they were going directly in there, but again, secret doesn't feel like they can team fight quite yet. They're actually moving partially towards that direction, but... I, Stealing Roche is so dangerous here. I don't think S4 can do this. So no, they would need to have Zai also nearby, and he just he did just TP the bottom lane, but it's it's far too late. LC get there. Maybe if they spread out, there's the smoke. They're looking for one. They actually spot the sniper, but he has Aegis. They don't want to go to him. Big double edge coming, hits two people, Whoa. but we got a supernova coming out. Batrider running for his life, luckily running over the trees, but he may die to the assassin. He actually gets cancelled here. Great stun, Nightmare on top of Sniper to keep him alive. And now Kroki can use his ulti, but he wants to wait until he respawns. And he's going to go down 15 HP, I think, here. Puppy cleans him up. We'll see a grip coming from long range and safety. Assuming he has mana, and he does. Here comes the grip. Doesn't even bother with it. Nope. Brain saps. Nope. It's like, yeah. we don't care. We're so far ahead. And a bit of Arcanes on Puppy is all Kuro needs for Mana Pool. He went Tranquil's Wand with a Null Talisman, boosts up his Mana Pool. And the pure damage really showing off. That's Brain Sap does pure damage, guys. It means it's not reduced by anything, so yeah, it's, it does way more damage than a regular you. nuke. It hits you hard. Your family feels it. It's just like it really ridiculous. Do. And hey, that, that turned out to be like Secret going, hey, that's, that's cute. You got Roche? Yeah. That's cute. Now we're just going to wipe you out, remove your Aegis, take out a couple of towers, and just take this game right back over. It was just no respect right there for the Roche, and they were just ready to engage. And now it's LC on the defensive, waiting back and behind a single puppy little centaur. Keeps them back and at bay while they get some early damage in on the tower. Now they're going to look to move on forward here. Remember, no supernova. Still 40 seconds on cooldown, but... As for going in, Whoa, grabs two. Big jump on the two and force away. Still I gets stunned from the fissure, but not blocked in. So he's just poking, seeing if they'll make a mistake or if he has an opportunity, does get the fissure off. Firefly has been used, though. It's got about half duration left. He can go for a lasso. He might grab the Earthshaker. If he can spot Earthshaker here, it's going to be huge. Sees him. There it is. Stampede as well. Pulls him out of position, and that's going to be a dead ES. Great initiation there. Secret. Shackle's going to latch. Good four staff on Arteezy. Should keep him alive for a bit. He's going to be evading some things. Headshot. He's so dead. Wow. And he got power shot. 
two snipers here on the side of LC with that power shot and assassination yeah. in hand, and they actually get the connection moving forward. Kuro should be fine, I think. He's S4 got Tranquil Boots. Full mana. Oh, great stun. TP. Okay, okay. They catch him, no shackle. Oh, the force actually oh, catches him there. Oh, he puts him himself there. in the latch. Oh, God, that's not He's gonna what send you him want. back. Might have some great nightmare as well. Super good interaction here. And a supernova. And now Spartan getting burned up. They gotta get the hell away from that egg. Right. But he goes down. Oh, he got a kill, connects. though. Yeah, flame break. They end up taking him down. The burn goes on through. It ends up being a two for one on the back end of what was already a long winded engagement in this bottom lane. Yeah. So that's the major synergy that Secret has in this game. It's the Chen send back with the with the Nightmare. Nightmare has a very limited invulnerability period when you cast it on somebody. It's like less than a second, or it's like a second max. And then, oh. so you send somebody back, it takes three seconds, but then you make them invulnerable for one and a half of that. And that hero's gonna be fine. If it wasn't for the Nightmare, he probably would have died there. So that was a really big, really big save coming out of their synergy. That's where LC really need to have the heads up gaming where maybe they sacrifice the support to right click the uh, sleep and Help yeah, Cork can finish him off or something, but that puts you into a really awkward yeah. spot. Yeah, I mean, he's invulnerable no matter what. You can't even wake him up during that initial period, so there's yeah. not really a whole lot you can do to save him. It did cost Bat Rider's life, but Bat also got a kill out of it. So Zai having a bit of a rough game, but on the bright side, he doesn't need a ton of farm to do well this game because they've got Stampede interaction. We saw mm -hmm. that against the Earthshaker. He lassoes somebody. He doesn't need a Force Staff. He doesn't need a Mask of Madness or a Boots of Travel to run fast. He's going to run fast no matter what. It's just, And it's something like... I've seen plenty of times, and it might have even been secret, but putting the Chen and the Centaur together is so nice as well. The whole creep yeah. army stampeding forward, just swarming it. Yeah, it's Top really Top lane by the secret shop, though. Spartan gets caught out and taken down. I don't know if he was trying to do a cheeky courier kind of a snipe thing or what, but he is in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he pays the price. And they, they still haven't gripped. Crow's like, I don't need to use this. He's got a force as well. He's actually quite farmed. It's like the Enigma thing, you know. It's just the mind games that you know that you have it. Yeah. <laughs> you keep them guessing. Oh, That's like a, you're definitely dead spell, basically. Yeah. BKB or not, don't matter. He will lock you down. Mm -hmm. And then you got to get a hold of him. But really, what can you do? Because uh, the sniper passive is not going to be stopping him from getting it off. Yep. What do they really have? They, they have, have sniper Earthshaker. ult. They have Earthshaker. And they have Shackle. That's okay. it. But not very They're probably going to be using those on, like, your RTZ, on your S4, your Batrider who's trying to jump in. Then you're left with nothing for Bane when he just kind of waltzes on in there and puts off a big Fiends grip. So. Yeah, very likely. Um, RTZ is going for Battle Fear, by the way. You got a Claymore um, and flying out his broadsword as well. So definitely going to be a Battle Fury. A little weird because usually when we see it's the fragile. Battle Fury build, yeah, you go for Treads so that you can have a bit more HP and you can leverage that plus damage you have with some attack speed. It's usually best to get both attack speed and damage items. Might see an Earthshaker catch. Nope, he's not going to spot at the low vision range for the Batrider. is going to hurt him a bit there. Yeah, he'll be able to go up and away. He already has the recipe for his Force Staff. And like you said, pretty much all you need to really throw together, if you can, is your Batrider tool belt. If you're Bat and Force Staff together. And then after that, it gets a bit more luxurious. And he already had the benefit from that Stampede to kind of get in there and get things set up. But it's LC looking to set something up. Top lane, they move his four here. Not under a smoke or anything. They have eyes for S4. Uzai having some Batrider vision issues. Ooh, that was so close. Batrider just doesn't have a long vision range, and Scent's going to die here. I think he's not going to get out of this. He does go down. Good catch. Yeah. Nature's Prophet rotates in, quickly uses the situation to make a push happen. They want to go for this Tier 1 top lane, but Secret, they'll just trade. Looks like they'll add some pressure onto the mid-Tier 1 tower, removing that strong access point there from LC. And for now, it looks like Zai... He's going to burn down the creep wave as best yeah. he can and try to slow them down as much as possible, but you're not going to be stopping him. It's focus fire, the right click of Sniper and Nature's Prophet. They'll get the tower they want. Ooh, I almost caught. Get some slow, but this is a good trade for Secret in this case, if they can get the mid tower. Uh, Arteezy is able to pretty much just fight this endlessly since he's dodging half of the tower hits, but here come the TP backs, actually. Nature's Prophet's going to try to maybe drop some trees, but it won't do that much. Arteezy might go in on this. If they can grip this, it'd be an easy kill, but no force staff just yet on Bane. And they actually have a ward up as well, so it'd be a bit tough. A lot safer just to go continue stacking, make more places for Arteezy to farm, and get him that second item, probably a Black King bar in this game. Mm -hmm. He really needs attack speed, and he really needs more levels so he can get more Phantom Strike levels. That'll compensate for the fact that he doesn't have treads. Just get a lot of attack speed from his skill points instead. That's what he needs to do. But he also needs HP. His build is a little... Unideal, I think, but the phase will pay off if he doesn't die too much early game, which is exactly what's happening. So he'll be okay, I think. Playing nice and safe, plus he always has that hand of God from Puppy to help keep him alive a bit. So if he wants mm -hmm. to be a bit reckless, he does have the sustain power from 
your handy little chin. And I think that's just what works nice when they're put together. You have the puppy Arteezy. Arteezy wants to be a bit of a, a bit more reckless, dive in, be a bit more bloodthirsty with someone like Puppy, though, at playing his chin. You can kind of afford to be a, a bit more ballsy. But here we go. Oh, smoke immediately popped from Spartan Whoa. who shows up. Hi, guys. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't supposed to be there. He goes down immediately. I think LC needs to get curl. the hell out. They actually consider moving forward, and he used the egg. So Nature's Prophet goes down. Supernova goes on to cooldown. Secret are like, um, okay. Well, we wanted to smoke, but we got to kill. Now S4 might get more. Stun. Warm welcome to relax. And relax. Gets slashed apart. Arteezy gets that kill. It's going to get lashed, but Lasso catches Madara. One by one, LC moves in, and they get caught. Sniper can't afford to move on forward. There's going to be the Hand of God. They get oh, the sleep on the skanks. And the... Oh, nice Echo is going to be canceling that Fiend's Grip that was on Madara. Could have killed her easy. And Secret making him pay. Get a hold of skanks here. Right click. Connects. Kuro gets that kill. 18 to 10 now for Secret. Oh, they Kuro's get the last one to Kuro. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Big couple of stuns can there. Maybe Brain Sap on four seconds. Good save, actually. Yeah. S4, man. The Bodyguard. Moves in, saves his ally, gets to walk away with his life. And they might not get to walk away with theirs. Spartan just got back. He's dead again. There's the brain set more HP. Great shackle catching the two heroes left over. S4 is going down, and Zai as well is going to fall. Really well done. Secret stayed just a bit too long. All of their heroes had like 20% HP, and they still pushed it, and they ended up getting punished for it. I think the kill on the prop was really good, but that shackle was... So big. Yeah. I mean, think about that shackle landing. Two heroes together, 3.75 seconds. That's the value of the hero that justified him getting or her getting picked all the time in the past. That's, yeah. If that shackle didn't land, that's two less heroes dead at maximum one hero killed. Like, that landing was massive. It would have turned a really nice uh, advantage that Secret was taking due to their player skill into, like, potentially game winning. And now they reset things a little bit. Props to Madara on the Wind Ranger. 4 1 and 3 has definitely been putting on a show with some of these shackles. Has the Agnums. Got the Agnums pretty fast. Already has a Maelstrom and an Ogre Club now. Good amount of farm. She's top of the net worth, even above Arteezy at 10.7, while Arteezy's at 10.5k of net worth. So back and forth we go. This Nature's Profit, though, man. Is the Medallion Nature's Profit? I don't know. I'm not he, convinced He's about the this. support Nature's Prophet yeah. is really what it is. He's just kind of there globally. He offers. He adds a bit of an impact with his ultimate. He has the medallion to help with a quick Roche, plus the minus yeah. armor, obviously, or now positive armor that Ice Frog has blessed us with. And they get their D-Ward as well. So. Well, one of the benefits to him playing support is that he can actually farm independently. So if nothing's happening, he's going to be getting gold, which is not bad. Um, his, his tree count is a little bit low, two levels of Nature's Call, but, you know. There's things that he can do that will be useful, and he's going to guarantee get farm. This is one of those games, Purge, where I would have been like, what about the Pugna? You could have swapped it out for the Pugna. Uh, instead of Nature's Prophet? I know. I know, I know. Um, Being silly, PA, really physical, going against Decrep, the ward. Not good, good against Kuro. Centaur at all. <laughs> not good against... Just you wait it's one only day. only good against one of their heroes in this Ice case. Ice going to be like, you know what? Let's give him a strength gain bonus. Let's and just, then everyone's going to be like, oh, see, when, okay. When Pugna starts the game, he already has the dag on in his inventory. That'll be the buff. Oh, come on. I think it'll take less than that. We'll see. But yeah, Vanguard it, now it complete on S4. Looking to get that value Crimson Guard after already Good getting shackle on Zai. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Another beautiful shackle connecting from Madara Man. onto Zai. You know what's really happening here? It's not necessarily... I mean, Zai's out of position, you could say, but... It's really the fact that Batrider's vision range is, was nerfed so much. His yeah. daytime vision is really weak. Uh, it's much less than a regular hero. So he's not. he just actually doesn't see those ganks coming, guys. It's not that he's just a bad player. Just his hero can only see that far. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the nerfs to the hero is that you need to know where you're about to blink to to initiate. You can't just have this like godly, I can see everything, Night Stalker yeah. ult. And he was too good back then. And he's still too good now. But maybe what we should say is I shouldn't be farming in such aggressive places without vision because he keeps getting caught by heroes that can actually catch him. And it's Wind Ranger with the Shackwell. And Phoenix helps as well. It was also the lasso casting range that was also nerfed, right? Yeah, so, that used yeah. to be longer. It used to cost less mana. Yeah. It's one of those heroes, him and Wisp, you give them little nerfs and nerfs, but they still find their way into being at the front of these drafts. Yeah. It doesn't matter how hard you bring them down, just their overall game presence is just so good that you can't really pass on an opportunity to get something like a Batrider on your team. And even though Zai is sporting a 176 record, his impact in this game is still very, very huge. So he offers a lot, and well, hopefully if he doesn't hand over too many kills, LC won't look to bounce back, but they do have a, tr a sniper after all and a Wind Ranger who's brought together some pretty good farm here. This could still go either way. 
saw a bit of a different item build than I expected on RTZ. He opted for a Mask of Madness before his BKB. And okay. at first I was like, eh, I didn't expect that, but it makes you farm really fast. And as soon as he finishes his Mask of Madness, he's pretty much already got a, a BKB on top of that. So now it's really worth it. He has to be a little careful against Sniper potentially getting an MKB, which he is building. Change creeps are going to spot out the enemy team, so they will lose these two creeps for that. Although, maybe a Sentinel going on the top lane, it's going to be a dead Prophet, the most underfarmed hero in the game. So they're basically trading a Roche for a potential tier 2 tower, but man, this is dying so fast. That's Aghanim's on Wind Ranger. She's attacking rapidly, doing tons of damage. Will they catch her? And they have no Stampede either. It's going to fall, I think. Great fissure block. Man, it's so close. Oh, that's Artizzi's a good egg. He's dancing, and yeah, the egg on the high ground, which you can't really see, it's going to create the extra bit of space. They're going to leave the ring of a quill behind and just get the hell out of there, and Arteezy is going to be left behind. Oh! Long jump. They are able to get the catch right there. They take out the Earthshaker, so they do lose an extra life, but they that's, get their Aegis overall and leave. That's not that bad for Secret. Mm -hmm. They got two kills. They got the top kill in the Prophet. They got the Earthshaker. Uh, Phoenix uses ultimate, so they don't have to worry about in the next fight. I, I think this is okay. They can maybe turn this into pushing, and that's what they're doing. They're pressuring two lanes. They do have the Aegis to deal with a two-hero shackle. What? He did that on purpose. That was, yeah, that was loud. Obviously. Those are hacks right there. Um, <laughs> the Aegis is on Sniper, by the way, so they can't jump on him, but they're, Secret's doing a really good job targeting the correct person in the fight. They're going in. There it is. It's going to be Wind Ranger, actually, but she had Nightmare up. Artizi popped to BKB's HP's at about half. A lot of fire damage coming through. Secret's going to disengage for just a second here. Might see a fish. Oh, great Fiend's grip on top of there. So they can kill him right here. That's huge. Yes, they oh, can definitely God, turn the fight now. Going after the Prophet. He gets crit down. Sniper in trouble. Oh, if they can double kill Sniper here, it's going to be so big. Phoenix is in the back. Going to try to slow things down, but he doesn't have the egg. And Arteezy can clean that up. Sniper running for his life, but Secret is diving. They still got to kill the Tier 2, but man, they're going to back up and continue the game. That is some talent right there that we just saw like That's they had an ridiculous. aegis and they just outplayed him they just ran over him they Literally really did. ran over him and they squashed five of them on the way ultra kill for arteezy that's the dream secret go back they finish out the tier two they were diving into the base tier two still standing just to get that job done yeah step back take a tier two take a tier three and look to take a rax this game went from Kind from kind of close to uh, secret win <laughs> in yeah. like a heartbeat. I mean, they definitely guarantee the one set. They'll probably pull away with that. They do. I mean, LC, there's still hope for him to come back, but those those odds, the window has been closed. It's a it's a mere little breeze coming through a crack. And yeah. They just. The, the Fiend's grip yeah. was really what started that off, though. Really good pick from Kuro there. Because if you look at what Secret wants to do, they want to run at their enemy heroes. And the one hero that really prevents that on LC is Earthshaker completely. Or maybe a Shackle. Shackle can latch two heroes that are chasing after you together. But I don't know where the, the Wind Ranger was in terms of that fight starting. But killing the Earthshaker right at the start was massive. Because it just limits their stun options by so much. And then the chase continues. They just played that really well going after the core heroes. Earthshaker's the guy that has to die. We see a Stampede. I think that was just a safety stampede. I don't think S4 really knew where they were or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. And this is feeling like I don't I don't want to label it as a desperate smoke, but I do. It just feels like LC are like, yeah, yeah we gotta smoke and find something to get this game back. And they are trekking and they don't see anyone. Like, even what the hell are they? Even if they find somebody, it's gonna be tough. They've got a shackle. Alright, smoke breaks, but it's natural. Will they find Arteezy? Here comes Shackle, it's gonna catch him. Nice. Arteezy in trouble. Focus fire. Good force staff from S4. Fissure's still gonna land though. He's low. He, oh, the Echo Slam is used. Oh, I don't no. know. Oh, he, he catch Zai. Blink. He caught Zai. He doesn't have a blink. He just wanted to stop Zai. Secret. Oh. Arteezy uses BKB though, needs more. And I think he might get oh barely staying alive. Focus fire. There is the Fiend's grip as well. That guarantees the wind runner. At least stays alive the whole time. Ah, baby. Unbelievable. That was Zai coming in, disrupting the damage yeah. by a little bit there. Uh, the Echo Slam was to try to delay the the uh, Flaming Lasso, but it just wasn't quite enough damage. Like, yeah. that we needed an MKB on the Wind Ranger. It's the same issue that we ran into with the, the last game, with yep. Wind Ranger versus the Shadow Fiend, who had the Butterfly. It's just, it really limits your damage. Evasion is the counter to this, basically. Yep. And, but wait, what he maybe needed to buy, he had to get Maelstrom, and he really did oh need god. BKB. Oh, oh god. Oh my gosh. No respect. Arteezy jumps in, gets that godlike kill on the back of a huge crit onto Sniper. He is out one minute, no buyback, and the 
Relentless onslaught doesn't stop. They slaughter the nature's prophet. Oh, is so Ice gonna be left alone? I'm like, he's like, guys, we probably could have taken yeah, that egg, but no. they don't want to do it. Now Arteezy is stuck between a tower. Ooh, <laughs> bad Blake, he's gonna over. die. He gets stuck in behind and hands over a huge bounty to Earthshaker. He just got a thousand gold. Okay. It's no blink still, though. Yeah, not enough for the blink, unfortunately, but this is all the the sloppy seconds from that huge fight in the mid lane earlier, and yeah, the, the Zai jumping really caught me, even me off guard, just going right into the mix. They had a beautiful setup on the Arteezy, but just not enough follow through. And you're right, you know, man. Not being able to connect there, with all those it. focus fire shots, they can't get the job done. So what do they do now? Uh, that was one of their one of their smokes. Let's see how much they have left. They have uh, one left, not to mention any on heroes. But Sniper needs to finish his MKB basically because. It's just too hard to shut them down from running at them. They, I don't know, they need some hard disables. They need a blink on Earthshaker, really. They need to initiate the fight is what has to happen. But it's difficult because Secret has so many four staffs now. They have one on Scent, Batrider. Uh, Chen has an Aghanim, so he's going to be healing big time very often. They even have a force on Bane. That's three four staffs. If anybody gets chain disabled, mm -hmm. you can push them closer to safety. Yeah. And then their DPS is going to be a bit limited or, or delayed there. So it's just a really hard game for LC to take now, especially because they have the Batrider advantage. Uh, we got an ancient black dragon fighting the uh, fire dragon of Phoenix. Oh, he even Chen heals it. He pulled it back. Sorry, no wow. easy creeps for you. No 200 gold. And he, one last lingering auto attack before he went. Comes yeah. back and finally connects. Attack. But During that whole period, Nature's Prophet who was trying to split push was brought down. I would have showed it on camera, but I don't want to make Weppa's jealous. So I don't really like to catch all the kills. You know, Got to make sure those obs are got, they're important for something. So Here we go. Top lane, though. They make the rotation got up the there. Yules, and there's the grip. Okay, that should welcome be a to kill. the lane. <laughs> and see you later. I don't agree with Prophet showing up here. Oh, never mind. They're chasing. Can they, they catch the anybody? Sleep? They use the urn, but Crows. Rod of Atos as well. They might be able to catch him, but PA goes in. Pops the BKB. Who's he want to go for? It's the egg. That egg is going to die. Couple hits. He's got Mask of Madness on. It's a lot of hits, but he does finish it off. Wind Ranger running to safety if possible, but no wind run for two seconds. He'll be in trouble. Shackle it's catches over. Arteezy. Good game is called. LC just having too much trouble getting a kill there. Yule's even on Kuro to keep alive, and they just, oof, man, that that fight by the mid tier two where they ran at him, there just wasn't a whole lot they could do. They just charged him right down. Yeah, got the kills. That grip set things up, and I think it like Secret set the tone that game 